Alright guys, what is going on? So we are having our breakfast this morning. We're gonna hit a little gym this morning. I'm gonna tell you guys more about it. It's actually the Tulum Jungle Gym, which we always wanted to go to. So we're doing a little pre-workout breakfast meal right now. Um, now this isn't like, honestly, the best meal that I can be having. I'm trying to get some pancakes in the mix. So we get some carbs going through the system, but I've got this beautiful omelet cooked up here. This thing is massive, though. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, pretty, pretty freaking big. So, we got our omelet with uh, the works, absolutely everything in here, and then a big plate of fruit. Have a cappuccino over here, and then a mimosa right here. Uh, Ali's got on XL as well. So, starting off the day on a good note here. So, uh, mimosa, coffee, a little bit of food. Gotta get some pancakes so we actually get some carbs in our system. But, we'll be heading over to the gym shortly. We're down here in Tulum area of Mexico. It's absolutely beautiful. It's been great weather the past couple of days and couldn't be more exciting to try this gym out this morning. Try out this cappuccino. It's kind of foamy. Is it usually that foamy? Put a little bit of sugar in there. We're we gonna go try this mimosa. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, Ali, how's the food? How's the food so far? Pretty good. Pretty good. Just so that looks fire, actually, bro. Look at this pancake. What did you put on there? Cinnamon sugar? Yeah, that looks insane, dude. Workout right now. We have the BPN Flight Prickly Pear, the brand new flavor. They decided to bring it back for good, um, as well as the Endo Pump Prickly Pear flavor as well. So, 10% uh, off code Dangler. Uh, anything BPN subs. We're just gonna dry scoop this real quick. But this place is so cool. Them dry scoop. Get in this thing. Let's do it. I actually haven't trained in a couple days, so first time taking pre-workout in a few days. Normally I take this stuff like every day, but here we go. Get a scoop of this. Sour. It's good though. And then scoop this for a pump. One scoop flight, one scoop and a pump. And we are good to go. These are 44 pound plates. It's insane. They're like a regular like 20 kg. Hey, 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 hey. Some of them here are like wooden dumbbells and some are uh, stone here. So these stone ones, this is 110 pound dumbbell like, each, which these are still way bigger than a normal 110 pound dumbbell, but um, these, I really want to try these ones. Look at this. Look right here. 60 kg, 132 pounds. That is a big dumbbell. Look at this. What do we think about growing? God, that's a one time too. It's insane. So we're going to try the 110s out of stone first, but I do want to come back and try those if I can. I don't know if I can do it. Can I do 132? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I think I got 15. Let's go. No. Even these look huge, dude. These look huge. <laughs> come on, come on. Can you read the full range? They hit me. <laughs> come on, baby. Those are like proper like 70 pound dumbbells, like what it looks like. And for you, it, look, it looks even funnier, like for you, like using like these huge ones. Because <laughs> since when would you ever use like dumbbells that big? I know, I know you are using these 10 pounder dumbbells over here, these 10 pounders. Yeah, look at the shoulders, bro. Come on, wait, do that again. What? I forgot my chalk in my in my suitcase. So, no chalk, but we're gonna try this. <sighs> One, three years, they don't feel too bad. They definitely felt heavier before. We're gonna try them on the incline. 
see if we can get a couple reps, see what happens. I don't even know, I haven't even done 130s on incline in like a long time. I actually haven't even done incline dumbbell in a long, long time. So. Ever? Ever? <laughs> no, it's been just a long time. <clears throat> Look how big these are. I should see. Yep, yep. Let's work. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Easy. Come on. Let's go. Nice. Good stretch, good stretch. There you go. I just added on the lap pull down we're doing this um, I don't even know how much weight I have in here but I just added on this big stone I don't even know how much this is doesn't even say but honestly pretty comparable to doing like 12 or 14 reps with a regular lap pull down I have enough weight in there and I assume it's probably going to end up being around the same you should have to load it up with stones which is kind of funny Ali's just flexing in the background but actually a pretty Solid gym for for a decent workout. Actually getting a full workout was kind. Of, yeah, that's just actually. You can actually get a good workout if you do it the right way. Make sure you're actually loading things up with enough weight. It's a little more difficult. Like the dumbbells, using those one thirty twos. It's all like they're, they're so big and like strangely shaped as opposed to doing you know regular dumbbells. But still getting a pretty good workout. Beautiful view of the water, and the beach right over there. So this is definitely a super super cool run. To at least come check out. Boom. Yeah. Time to get back. Here we go. Hey. All right, so jungle gym workout complete so we couldn't use the camera in there like literally one of the very first rules is like no cameras allowed but you could use your phone which is really kind of weird sometimes that like you can completely film a youtube video instagram video everything in your phone but you can't do it on your camera but anyways one of the most beautiful beaches i've been to like other than going to thailand and like the blue water and everything that was there this is absolutely incredible i hope you guys can can see like the the colors and everything but it's so pretty here unbelievably Beautiful. So we're gonna go head back. Um, our taxi driver's waiting for us. Um, I am pretty sure. So we gotta go find him and then head back to the hotel, which is like a 30, 40 minute drive from here. But honestly, really solid workout. Glad we decided to come by. It was a little expensive, but you know, kind of once in a lifetime thing. I don't know, next time we'll be back at the jungle gym. All right, guys, you know what's going on. Pretty after the workout. Getting some drinks going right away. Best way to recover after a jungle gym workout. So this is about like a 40 minute drive back. Um, so our taxi driver took us back. He just waited for us while we were there, um, you know, working out. But we're doing a mega margarita. We just got ourselves some lunch. So they had a, some really good stuff here. Ali's got a mojito. I just finished a mojito as well. And we're actually just finished up with dessert. So that's all I have left, but I had some cheesecake some panna cotta, some flan, 
and uh, yeah, getting some drinks in. So we're gonna do this. I have to do a little bit of work right now, so we're gonna probably get the laps off and head down to the pool, do a little bit of work over there. And uh, yeah, really, really good concept, really cool um, gym today. So super excited about that. I'm glad we got to at least stop by. They wouldn't let me use the camera, um, unfortunately, but cool place, really cool beach. Here doesn't have the best beach in the world. Like it's kind of rocky. Um, it's kind of just like a little cove. It's not like, you know, the most amazing water in the world. It's still really, really cool. Don't get me wrong. The water, the beach, everything in that like beach area of Tulum was like, you know, perfect um, compared to here. But we came here kind of more for the resort rather than, you know, necessarily the beach. So glad we still got to see it. Let me get this drink going. And then computer work by the pool. Beautiful day outside. Gonna enjoy it. And then we have a reservation at the steak restaurant later tonight. So excited to try that out. So it was booked up for like two or three days. So we couldn't get a reservation until a couple of days into our trip. So that's gonna be exciting to try tonight. And again, all inclusive, you know where you're hard, all you can eat, whatever you want. So that's going to be very interesting. Things look so ISO auto. This look good. So, my app did a couple of drinks in here. I'm gonna take you guys through my the rest of my day here. First workout, first everything else. And, uh, uh, we're sipping a couple things in. We have a margarita with uh, tequila on the brim. Glass here. Um, and Prosecco in the sand. And uh, I'm just gonna show you kind of like what I'm drinking, just like, I don't know, just, just making a fun video. So, this is already, I'm not gonna lie, probably. How many, how many do we see about like? Yeah, five, six, like five or six. This is probably like it's six, seven, eight, something like that. So, I'm gonna take you guys through. It's a beautiful day, 78 degrees and sunny. And we're, uh, I'm just getting work done on my laptop, having a couple of drinks while we're in, and then just gonna show you guys what I'm drinking today. There's been a lot of margaritas, a lot of mojitos, prosecco, dos equis, and uh, we're on vacation, so we're just enjoying this. It's not an everyday thing, it's not an everyday thing whatsoever, but, um, you know, work-life balance, balance is, is everything. You know, we got our workout in today, but we're also, you know, we got some work done on the laptop, but we're also going to enjoy our vacation, enjoy ourselves. So, see you guys for the, for the next round of drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your drink? Look at that. Beauty! Another glass going down. I'm drinking Ali's because Ali cannot finish her drinks. <laughs> she can't handle her drinks. So, yes, I can. another Prosecco for me. This is my third drink in a matter of 30 minutes, but just finished my margarita. Well, that's that's your margarita too, isn't it? I didn't finish that one. <laughs> didn't finish that one. <laughs> what what drink number are you on, Ali Miller? Uh, what drink number? Six or seven. <laughs> that's a Better lot for you. No. Six six or seven. I can handle that. Ali Miller. Well, they're not that strong. <laughs> yeah, these they're not definitely. Safe. We definitely have more. I know this is super close. So I apologize to you guys, but. Um, I have my 50 millimeter lens on, so it's super tight, but it looks super cinematic. But again, it's like all up in my face and stuff. But yeah, six or seven slot for you. But they're kind of like, yeah, they are kind of watered down. Um, so if you want to really like feel it, I guess. Shots. Shots or. That's what we did yesterday. And wine. I really feeling it. Or wine or champagne, prosecco. You know, but the, the drinks are really good. They're mm -hmm. definitely. A little water drop is okay. I don't. I don't mind that. I don't. I don't need to be blasted out of my mind right now. <laughs> like that's okay with me. So. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> that's your tenth drink of the day. Uh, tenth drink? Yeah. Is it? What do you think? Tenth we or eleventh? We were on six. We started like counting for the video, and then yeah, we did. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, you're right. This is number 10. <laughs> How do you feel? You're honestly pretty good at like, they're probably, 
there's probably like a little water down. But we're gonna go grab dinner in a little bit. We have a reservation for uh, 5.30, currently 4.30, so an hour uh, to kind of get ourselves ready. Um, and then sunset's gonna be here like around six. So we'll probably get some pictures and stuff like that. Just, um, you know, do dinner there. We'll vlog that whole experience in there, but remember it's time of the day. Ooh, it's over here. All right, number 11, or actually number 12, sorry. I had one in the shower once I got back to the <laughs> Number 12, we're heading to dinner right now. We're going to the uh, to the Mexican shop house. So get some, uh, I think it's gonna be like meats and stuff like that. Uh, we'll go check that out. So we're all good to go. Fit on, getting father sons on. Uh, these are from Zara. And yeah, I got a movement uh, bracelet on, a little bit of watch. And we were good to go. We'll see you guys in there. Made it to dinner. We are doing a passion fruit margarita. This one's really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. The tahini around the rim again. We're at this built-in all-inclusive, so they have like four or five different like, restaurants you can go to here. Uh, this one's the Maxal Mexican Chop Up. So it's like a Mexican uh, meats and stuff like that. So they have. Uh, steak, they have short rib, they have pork chops, all that good stuff. So we're gonna do, I'm honestly gonna do a couple, I'm gonna try a couple of different ones here. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I get, but the passion fruit margarita, insane, really, really good. Oh yeah, see all the seeds in there? I like passion fruit, is, is that a, I, I saw someone do one of those uh, the other day, but anyways, if you guys updated, this is number 13 on the day. I'll probably get to number 14 <laughs> by the time we get to so bad. yeah but it's by the time we get to the end of the meal we'll be on number 14 so um good to go show you guys what we're good i don't know about first if you're hold up look at that what's up good for him good yeah here if you guys can see i got the this is sourdough bread with there's like some sort of an olive oil like dip and so we have the sourdough bread we have over right here is tortilla soup so there was like a bunch of stuff in there and he just poured uh the soup in there and then right here what's this Ali? that's the melted sheet oh yeah yeah it's like chips with some kind of like some queso right basically yeah chips with queso and then what's this the salad avocado. that's avocado what's that for like the toppings for something i think he said it was like the toppings for the tortilla soup or something maybe Maybe not. No, okay. We're gonna figure it out, but that looks good. That looks really good. So, this is all the starters. So we got short rib, beef short rib, and a pork chop. Allie got the shrimp. Boom. Can I just tried some, it was really good. Yeah, really good. We got that, that, that going on. Our passion fruit margarita right there. A little bit of water. That's drink number 13, I believe. 13? Yeah. That's 13. Yeah, is it coming? Actually? Nice. Wait, this is the pork chop. Here? Really? This is definitely the pork chop. Mm-hmm. Are you ever going to hit her? Are you good? That's pretty good. What is it? Oh, that's kind of spicy. That's kind of spicy. Whatever is that, that sauce is, pretty good. It's kind of short rib here. Short rib. Oh, wow. It's so tender. Allie, you're going to like this. You're really going to like this. <laughs> mm -hmm. With mashed potatoes too. Go ahead, come on. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Three is fine. Dinner all wrapped up. Uh, this is number 15. Ali, <laughs> I wasn't gonna have this, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't even have this. Ali ordered two more drinks, but she didn't even want it, so I got stuck having Ali's drink too. So dinner's done, just finished up dessert. It's really, really good, honestly. I like this place a lot. So number 15. Here we go, another passion fruit margarita. <laughs> We're gonna go to the, there's another bar. It's the only one that, another bar. The only one I guess that stays open like later is in like the lobby area over here. So we're gonna check that out. I haven't been there yet and this is our last night. So um, we're gonna check that out and see what happens, I guess. Cheers, let's finish this drink and have a good last night here. <laughs> I thought I should see it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Just your eyes, bro. Probably gonna call it a night on that, but if I get another scoop of ice cream, we'll see. Probably go back to the hotel. I'd chill. So that's our last night. 
only, I think it's only like, what, eight o'clock? All right, guys, so drink number 15, I believe. Uh, we're switching over to the phone here because I have the 50 millimeter on the camera. It's not doing us any justice here, so. We're gonna do this, probably try a Paloma, right? Either that or just like a daiquiri or something like that. I'm just trying out some different drinks, honestly. Like I, I'm very, very basic. I never really, really tried out many different drinks at all. <laughs> like, I never really tried out many different drinks. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Really tried out many different <laughs> I'm still stuck at like this like college vibe where you have to like get like a rum and coke or like a yeah tequila soda or like a vodka cranberry or something like that like something like super and like utterly like simple. I'm trying to try out some different <laughs> some different drinks. I'm, the, I'm trying to try out some different drinks on this trip. So I'm literally over here like I'm- Drink number 15, you can't even talk anymore. I can speak, I can talk. I'm looking up like on Google, like best drinks to order from like an all-inclusive. There's like a list of like 36 different drinks. I'm like going down the list right now. But uh, it's always good to go with the, the easy ones. Margarita, mojito, daiquiri, pina colada, shots. <laughs> I'm gonna try some different ones. Drink number 15. Here's how we're looking. <laughs> Drink number 16. How many more are you having? Zero. <laughs> Alright, so drink number 16. Yeah, I think this is gonna be it for the night. We got a from Doma. It's pretty good. I don't even know what's in it, but. How many calories do you think you're having? Increase. If you have 16 drinks with, I mean, honestly, alcohol is like 100 per drink, and then add on. All the mixers and stuff, right? Whatever juice they add in there, etc. Minimum 200. I'd say average, maybe like 150 or 160 calories per drink. 2,560 calories. From drinks, bro. From drinks. Bro, you're going to cut up this trip. This is how people actually probably gain so much weight on a trip like this. Like, I just realized that because it's not like we're over here having like a, like a diet sodas in here like or zero calorie you know lemonade and stuff it's like we're having a proper whatever you know full calorie mixer it is or you know full calorie orange juice full calorie lemonade that's like we probably had between 2000 and 2500 calories just from drinks today or at least at least at least i did at least i did <laughs> yeah it's a lot so drink number 16 here finishes off and we'll call it night on We'll call it a night on this one. And then, yeah, diet starts tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna need it.